Hi, welcome. 6.4.1 is now online and I've just installed it, reinstalled it from the ISO from SourceForge and this is the result. Just gonna make this again my Arch Merge fun because I have so many SSDs lying around. I need to work, am I working? I need to know, am I working on my fun SSD? Am I working on my SATD SSD? Am I working on my ISO builder? So in that way, I just know, okay, I can do some stuff here, some strange experimental surf stuff on this one, but not on the ISO builder. I've already made, I've added the Conkey, so Conkey Zen is activated and I chose this one. So that's done. Well, this variety is providing us with uh, awesome wallpapers, strange things. There's already updates coming in and the build was, I think, 26 January. And this is what you get when you're an arch, you get always updates in and you just do them. Settings have been not um, uh, changed to include the AOR. So if you want to include those, that's up to you and leave it up to you and don't set it norm, uh, standard. And now we have also the AOR involved here. There is a particular uh, issue with the Conkilua archers. I've um, made already a message on uh, the AOR to uh, advise the maintainer to change one little three letters and, and a dot. That's all we need. And then it does work. We can update it, but it's all explained on archmerch.com. So these things will be updated as well. You do it via this uh, terminal is PAMAC which is a great thing because you can navigate inside these package and we can see what will be provided and what are dependencies and all that so that's great um, or you can go to control T and say PKSYU A and then you say install the thing so that's another thing you can do uh, where does this come from it's not a standard amount or anything it's just a way to shorten our typing efforts. So we are going to use Yarwood, etc, etc, but also including the AUR with no confirmation. So yes, 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 which results in difficult uh, thing, a difficult update, a wrong update with the Conky Lua archers, but that's explained somewhere else. All right, so let him update his thing. I'm gonna install what I need to install after a clean installation. So just updating a Conky maybe you can put this also at the top so right mouse click and then also with control pressed preferences to the top let's take something else in Renier and let's move like so I don't know maybe this one that's a long time ago Moncho Mod so Alt T yep you can trash your uh, elements here so screen key so Alt arrow to the right, Alt T is stretching, Alt T is stretching, Alt T is stretching. Let's keep this one. How about that? Never seen that before. Okay, I'm all for sci fi. Now, I'm at the moment working on a dual screen, but I just have one screen. So normally I would go to this place to tell them, look, I don't mirror, mirror the displays. So that's for later at the when I stop the video. Okay, uh, what's next? I'll probably get my data over again. So my own personal files. And I'll get later on my Arch Merge files. And let's get, get them. So nothing is on my external hard drive actually. Oops, mistake. Nothing is here, it's all on the GitHub, so you can get it too. Anybody can get it and learn and change the scripts I have. So git clone https double point slash slash github.com com slash Dubois slash arch merge nemesis. Why am I getting this one? Because I have a lot of applications more that I want to install and um, that's still installing and I'm gonna install them now well for instance conkeys can be quite beautiful but what if there's no font for the conkey then it's ugly so just to give you an example 
Well, let's install it first. So the compies have been installed. And now if we want to have, let's get rid of that and like so, go to the conkeys and one of the nice conkeys. Well, I already saw one. I just wanted to find this one. Like you see, this is not an, a specific font. So it's uh, it would be ugly if we did not have this font type. So we need to have those to have a beautiful, well, complete conkey system. Install some core software. Things I need, but I'm not putting it on the system. Stuff like screen fetch is there. We use new fetch. Gnome screenshots is installed. And deconf editor is quite specific. The guys who followed me in Arch Merged, we did use the deconf editor to change the icons in the menu there. Sometimes we need it. All right, so um, that's set. Then 300 is another. Let's move this there and let's move that there. Voila. 300 is the next one. What I'm not going to put on the ISO is Dropbox. It's um, an, a choice to put things in the cloud. It's not an, uh, obli obligatory. It's not a, a good thing, I think, to put it on the ISO. The same goes for InSync, which is actually paid. Uh, that sets to sync with Google Drive, which I use, but nobody else should use it. It's not uh, no. well, obligatory, again. Spotify, I'm paying for it, but well, it's not obligatory. So I install all the stuff that I say, look, why give people all this stuff if they're not going to use it or they don't want to use it? So Dropbox, G Radio is have some music, Radio Trace have some music. All my sadly extra icons, hundreds, uh, sets of them. Skype for Linux, Spotify, and the virtual box for Linux kernel. So installing the Linux. Um, so the virtual box for the standard Linux kernel, not the LTS kernel. And then finally fixing all the little icons. So G Radio is now configuring. That's where we are. And I do need the 900 one. So there is this microcode error that's running around. So it's easily fixed, but you need to run it. That's that. Fix done. So basically, this is quite minimal, the impact. But the rest is my personal settings. So you check them out. If you like those settings, you can run those as well. But it's not really necessary. Um, but sometimes you may think it is necessary. And you run it. You know, you're free to run it or not. So 600 are just checking if all folders are there, dot icons, dot themes and all that. 610 is look at this side here to the left. If I have to make everything again and again and again. So everything is now here available and on all my SSDs and all my PCs on all my desktop environments. I have the same thing, you know, I have to temp it down there and config is up there. And don't have to search where is it the thing again because if you make it manually it will never be the same and now you just go through it so some gim settings i uh, like shadow arrow things like that and this is my gnome screenshot to have gpg pictures for the website firefox has not been installed has not uh, i didn't run it so you first need to run firefox for the next one so first one, all right, done. Click, I cancel, yes, close. So next up was, let's see, LS, I can always type that one, 700. For Firefox, the settings have been enabled. That's just if you have dark eye themes, which often I have, then um, you can't see the input boxes anymore. Can't very difficult to read them. So fixed with a small fix from CSS wall. And then number 800 is to fix some icons. So one of these icons is about that one, but there's also sublime text. Sublime text has this icon up here, this icon up down here, 
and I hate it that it breaks the system, by the look of the system. So 800 is to fix all these icons that are behave the way they should behave. So software engineers, keep off the icons. Don't set it yourself. Right, that's done. Um, well, we're basically done. We're waiting for all the side icons, it seems, to install. There is NCNC PPCPPP two status uh, things. There's a config, a personal config in there. But for the rest, everything has been copy pasted. So if I do want to have the very lovely name here MPD NCM PCPP, then you should run that as well. Let's do that. So I have some music in the terminal. That's all it is an application to have music in a terminal. Done. Now we have this configuration. If I'm tired of configuring everything all over again, you say, mm, I'm gonna work again on this one. So copy, control, and um, Eric, control H, looking for NCM PCP. That's the original one, control C, control V. So that's the original one. Original. So we can compare. That one is not a good one. Let's go back to be sure that's the mine, mine and then go back, no, go back the other way, like so, control find. So next time I boot up NCMP CP, yep, it's indeed my look, it's the red and white look. The only thing I have to do is put music in my library with, from my external hard disk. So everything has been set, I'm ready to go, there's uh, two things I should do basically. Look, it's SUSE. No, it's not. <laughs> and then we have Dropbox. I have to install or, well, log in. So that's one thing I should do. And I have also InSync, which I need to run as well. And those things have, well, I need to connect to it. And then everything will be downloaded and we'll be working in, I don't know, how many times, how many time I spent now. But uh, basically, I'm done. The only thing I'll do is add some extensions to my um, browsers. And that's it. I'm going to have some fun. Cheers.